What's up, people? This is The Vinyl Casket, home to the lamest taste. My name is Nick. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, you check out the YouTube channel, The Vinyl Casket, all one word. You can subscribe, like, and comment. Hit the bell for much, much more. Uh, as always, this is boom our weekly comic book reviews. We get them on Wednesday. We read them. We bag and board them. We get pictures in the light box for the Instagram at the vinyl casket comics then we sit down and review them for you i'm a little late this week i was not able to get my books on wednesday like usual because i went to aew dynamite and the other additional tapings uh on wednesday so i wasn't able to drive out to my shop and get my books before i was able to had to get the train um and last night i would have done the review because i was done with my books but then i went to a concert in the city so you know Last minute stuff. I'm a little late, but I have the books, right? We're ready to talk. Uh, I got to hurry up because I got to get to the shop to sell some stuff. Um, but it was a pretty solid week, I would say. Um, three indies, and then I think two Marvel, two DC. Uh, here's a stack. Boom. Uh, remember to check out the channel. We do trailer reactions. We do wrestling watch-alongs. We do uh anime manga tv movie reviews um i promise that on my twitch i will try to get back into streaming gameplay um i do plan on eventually getting a ps5 in the next month or so so i'm assuming that the weekends at least saturday maybe friday i will go wild with that um as well as i know it's getting slow at my job so i know there's gonna be days i'm gonna be sitting home probably in the next month um and I have those model kits that I will be building live on. I haven't decided if it's gonna be Twitch or YouTube, but one of them, and I'll, you know, I'll I'll be watching like Shameless or a series to review in the background and have the volume down. Um, all right, we go Indies, Marvel, DC. We rate rate them one through ten. Uh, we're going with Image Comics. We got two books from Image. This issue is issue seven of I Hate This Place. This is the variant cover where they change I Hate This Place to Fuck This Place. I have all of the Fuck These Places. I might not have the first one, but I think I have almost all of them. This is a series that went on hiatus after this is issue seven. After issue five went on hiatus. Uh, recently, issue six came out. I was like, yeah, it's been a while. It's been like two or three months. I don't think I'm going to pick up this series. I went to the shop i looked through it i'm like okay it's still kind of interesting i read it i liked it and then i was like you know what maybe i'll drop it again i put it on my pull list i go there i look through it i'm like i gotta get it it's such a weird series with so many different elements being in here between murder horror weird romance aliens ghosts demons uh and every issue it goes deeper and deeper in the directions that I'm not even ready for. So it's just strange, right? It's just a strange, strange book. And I like it. And the artwork's pretty solid. It's definitely indie. It's not like artwork you would see in Marvel or DC. But it's good. Um, seven and a half. That was pretty difficult for me. Uh, moving on to the other image book. We have issue five of six of Radiant Pink. This is the regular cover. Um, the series is almost over. It feels like it's been going on for a really long time. It feels like there's like it's like a month and a half instead of a month gap on this book. Um, I don't know. I oh, this is four or five. Okay, I thought it was six of. I thought it was five of six. This is four of five. So maybe there was just a delay between this issue and the last issue. Um, it's solid. It's a solid series. And her now, she just finally met existence or went to existence or whatever it's called and saw her own giant robot in this issue. Um, the weird relationship she's having with the other girl that was s taking her powers away was really interesting. Um, the, the, the switch of the cat people was really cool. Um, and then the involvement involve of... Uh, not Nathan, but um, uh, who's the other Radiant Black? The other Radiant Black that's not Nathan. Um, the involvement of him, the involvement of him in this book was cool. Um, really interesting. I am assuming the last issue is going to tie directly into either um, their big event 
or the either the big event or um supermassive two one whatever you want to call it uh gonna give it a seven out of ten it was pretty solid though um moving on to issue one from dynamite comics this is the dynamite's been doing their disney line this is their disney villains line i think this is the first series to come out of this uh this is a variant cover for issue one of scar uh this is phenomenal um i'm sorry but Dynamite getting the licenses from Disney for these Disney characters and Disney villains and stuff has been awesome. DuckTales, Gargoyles, now Scar. I know there's a Maleficent one coming out. Um, I was kind of iffy on getting this. I was like, oh, do I want it? I want it. I saw the cover. I put it on my list. And then I flipped through them at the shop because I'll put them down if I don't like it. If, if the cover and the concept are not the same as the internals i'll be like no i'm good or if the internals are better than the cover i'll like sacrifice on the cover but uh i look through this i'm like this is awesome artwork's awesome story's awesome i really really enjoyed this issue um shocking if you're a fan of uh lion king i would highly suggest getting this um, just like if, if you're a fan of DuckTales or not, Darkwing Duck, get Darkwing Duck. If you're a fan of Gargoyles, get Gargoyles. Um, these are awesome. The paper quality, the cover quality, the artwork inside, the dialogue, the the attention to details in the end with like the cover gallery. This is awesome. Um, 8 out of 10. Easy. Uh, then moving on to Marvel... So this is an issue one. This is something that I'm like indifferent about. This is not showing me a time code when I don't do this. Oh, that's annoying. Um, it's something I'm indifferent about, right? Because I really do, as I click buttons, I, I'm, I enjoy this issue. I am pumped for this series. I love this franchise. Um, and this is something that Marvel is now doing with two other franchises that they're putting out that have, they have been putting out. They're not making this change, starting with this issue. So this is issue one. This is a variant cover of issue one of Planet of the Apes. Itself, variant covers were awesome. I got this variant cover. I really liked it. Um, the story was awesome. The artwork was awesome. The dialogue, the setup, the lead in, everything, right? My issue is that Marvel decided, and it has nothing to do with the issue. I highly suggest getting this issue. But now, starting with this issue, Aliens and Predator from this point on are all going to have this weird branding. So they're going to have the variants are going to have this side panel branding where it will tell you if it's a variant cover or whatever, and then have a weird in association with marvel instead of just the marvel i guess they got sued so now they can't just put marvel on the fox brand stuff and it says 20th 20th century studios up top um because these are 20th century fox products um then the main ones will have a big border the a covers have like a big border up top then the title then the art um i will not i will avoid an A cover because of that big border. Uh, this I still am annoyed about, but it's not as bad. Um, but now they've been put this. They're on like their third Alien series, right? They're like deep in the Alien. They're on the second Predator series, and all of a sudden they're gonna change it up and do this branding that I don't think is necessarily even good branding. Um, I think it's stupid. I think you just have the 20th century logo and the Marvel logo in the bottom corner or in additional corners up the top, whatever. I think this whole usage of this is stupid, um, especially the A cover version. But that being said, issue itself basically gives you further details, explanations, maybe a different take on the reboot trilogy of Planet of the Apes. Uh, the the Franco movie and everything. It's good. Uh, I liked it. I like the concept that they're leading with, and I'm excited to see where this goes. I don't know if this is going to be a reboot of 
those movies or it's a retelling. I doubt it's a retelling because they haven't done that with Alien or Predator. They've been doing giving us new knowledge, new information, new story. So I'm assuming this is going to be either an alternate universe, uh, information we didn't know leading into a side story uh, that might evolve into something that could be a movie. I don't know. I really liked it. I'm going to give it a 8. Okay. Um, moving on to issue 23 of Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, it's solid. It's not bad. Artwork's okay. Uh, we're still in the storyline that we waited 23 issues, 20 issues for. Um, he's trying to get back to save uh, MJ. Uh, no one wants to help him. He's trying to get help from Fantastic, Fantastic Four. Reed's not there. He can't get access to the lab. Uh, and then he's forced to really take on help from Norman Osborn. That's basically it. And it's good. It's solid. It's nothing special. It's If you've been waiting for the storyline, you kind of are disappointed, but it's not bad. Um, I'm going to give it a six and a half. Hopefully it gets good. Um, moving on to DC, we have issue 134 of Batman with the A cover. Uh, on the other hand, this story is pretty okay. Uh, I like this version, Batman in this universe. I like the Joker in this universe being the red mask guy. Um, I'm enjoying it. I think the highlight of this issue was besides uh catwoman turning on everyone uh having batman's side and stuff like that that was really cool uh oh and and ghostbreaker that this version this universe's version of ghostmaker is ghostbreaker and that was awesome because ghostbreaker is pumped full of venom which is sick um so it was like a batman trained guy with the strength of bane sick um that was really cool and then the backup story of Tim Drake finally got really good. Um, I'm not reading the Tim, the Tim Drake mini ongoing, whatever it is. Um, I bet I know it's completely different than this. It's like his romance story. And this is him like trying to like save Batman. And this I enjoyed. The costume, how he accidentally por forced himself to see his mom was really cool. And it was awesome. I really enjoyed it. I'm really excited for the next issue, which I haven't been for a couple I I would say since Failsafe ended, um, I you know this has been cool, but I haven't really cared that much. Um, this made me care. This is a pretty good issue. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of ten. Uh, and then final issue of the week is gonna be the cardstock variant cover for issue seven ninety six of the Flash. Um, four more issues until this reboots to issue one. Rebrands to issue one and the new creative team takes over. Very excited. I've really liked Adam's work on this. I think this is the best Flash storyline, series, volume, whatever runs we've had in a long time. I'm really enjoying this. I hope Wally stays around. I hope Barry stays around. I'm really liking that we're finally focusing on the Flash family. And this issue really emphasized family. Uh, Mar Max Mercury said some stuff that was really, really cool. In this issue, um, we finally saw them take out uh, finish one minute war and they defeated uh, what's it called? The faction. Um, that was really cool. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good storytelling. This whole series has been the whole this whole mini in title event has been great. Um and then they keep glimpsing at the future with Goldbug and her having a relationship with Jai and uh, or Jay or whatever, however you want to say his name, Wally's son, um, and her having a team working under Wally in the future at Planet Flash. And I'm so excited. I'm really so excited. I really hope that this next title, this next creative team takes everything that abs has put in front of them and goes with it because he really he spent so much time rebranding wally right making Ma wally the face of this right death metal really set wally up put him in the blue costume put him in yeah that crazy blue costume gave him all these powers sent him on an excursion uh Flash forward did its thing. Then Wally has to correct his stuff. Wally goes through some things, gets his kids back. Now he's fully Flash. He's 
in the costume. Barry does his thing. So you got Barry, you got Wally, you got Jay, you got Max Mercury, you got Jesse Quick, who, who in the last couple of issues has been uh, Liberty Bell. Um, Wally's wife has powers right now because she's pregnant again. Um, really cool. This ends with uh, Barry and um, Wally's aunt. Wally's cousin, Wally's aunt, um, Iris West, uh, proposing to each other, and they're gonna get married. So I hope we get a wedding issue. I hope we get, I hope we get more Flash family. That's all I'm saying. I'm loving Impulse. I'm loving Kid Kid Flash and Impulse's like working together was really cool. I need more Flash. I know we have tons and tons of Batman titles. Can we get more Flash titles? I want a Barry and a Wally title. I want a Kid Flash and. Like a team up Kid Flash Impulse title Like Cause neither of them are On Teen Titans Neither of them are in Titans um, You're not doing anything with them right You can have that title where It's once a month And you get a Either they're together Or you get a Impulse story And a, and a Kid Flash story Kid Flash can tie into Barry Or Jay Or whoever And then the Impulse can tie into Max And that's all you need that's my opinion. This is an eight and a half out of ten. Amazing issue, amazing series. Um, as I get congested in the middle of the review, uh, we're gonna go. Gotta do a top five, right? I gotta do a top five. I gotta do a top five. Um, All right, Radiant Pink, Batman, Planets, Scar, Flash. That's my top five. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Remember to check out the YouTube channel, The Vinyl Casket, all one word. Where you can subscribe, like, and comment. Hit the bell for much, much more. Remember, this is the home of the lamest taste. To the lamest home to the lamest taste um get the comments talk about comics with me talk about movies tvs whatever you want um i'm here to talk to you uh and i need you to do me a major favor and stay lame